name is Phil from the Mossad Community Allotment. Today we're doing an instruction in building, making raised beds. And we have various people from outside the community group who are coming to see uh, the procedure. We'll see how it goes. And we've got some of Manda's lovely marrow cake with a cup of tea later on. This is um, this is a, was an individual plot. It's been over, overgrown areas were overgrown for years and years. People weren't looking after them. So we were attacked this housing and the city council said would you be interested in having a community allotment? So yeah. Did you go to the I know it was because of that. What I did was just never never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Go on this pole here, please. So we need the same size as that. What we do. All the timber we're using is from sustainable European forest. So don't be worried about the decimation of the rainforest, you don't have to do with that. We love them because, as you know, this summer, absolutely rain, wet, 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 wet. And what raised beds do, it drains the soil properly. You can take, you can put water in, but you can't take water out. So if you're, you're, you're planting on a level ground and it's flooded, your crops are ruined, really. So, and not only that, you have more control, you've got bad backs, and, like that, and the elderly people that are working the allotment, which we do have, um, it's easier for them. You've got more control with feeding, uh, looking after the soil because it's in a confined area, not being washed away, trampled on, stuff like that. And it warms up quicker. So you can probably plant two or three weeks earlier and you'll be able to without raised beds. It does warm up quicker. And if you cover the top with whisk green, like a heavy duty plastic, and plant through that, you might only have to water once every two weeks. Because that 60%, 70% of the water that you, you walk with evaporates. So they're the pros. Cons. Pros? What are they? Pros. Yeah. <laughs> Cons, it's work. So, you know. But you have fun doing it. If you were doing it, you have fun doing it. And then, um, yeah. Great. Can we carry on then to where we go? So, I'm, my name's Kirsten Glendinning. I work for the Kindling Trust and I'm the project coordinator for Big Dig. And uh, Moss, um, Moss Side Community Allotments is a big dig garden, so we have asked them to run a raised bed making workshop for other big dig gardens. And we've um, contributed £100 to this workshop today to help cover the costs involved. 84 and a half, <laughs> that side. 84 and a half. Da, 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 da. 84 and a half. My name's Sally, um, I work for Manchester Young Lives. Um, we have adventure playgrounds around the city. Um, I work at the one in Hume and Withenshaw. Um, we have a lovely great big space at Withenshaw where we're trying to you know, get the kids involved in growing their own food, local produce. Um, um, I've often looked at these raised beds and just thought, I can't do that. And actually just today watching Phil build this one here, it just seems, it's made it seem easy. And I know it's probably not that easy. But I actually thought, yeah, I can really do that. I can do that. I can get the kids to help me. Um, they can help with the lifting, the measuring. And we can build these raised beds ourselves. So really glad I came down. Really, very, very, very useful. <laughs> One more. Oh, okay. Back out. Yeah, it's a Take it back out. No, 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 it's a out now. Just make sure it's safe. Put it up towards this way, please. Is that safe? Is it going to be that size? Another one. It's a good one. No. Ben, what's some of you? It's fine, you're all right.